Hi, this is John V6ZY with a demonstration of how to uh, create your own Python block in GNU Radio Companion. And we're going to create a very simple embedded block that's going to do some processing and we're going to write some code in Python to uh, make that happen. So to start off with, we've got a signal source with a 1 kilohertz tone and the scope. And basically, we're sending a 1 kilohertz tone and you're watching it on the scope. And yeah, pretty boring, right? So what we want to do is add a second channel to that scope and a processing block, which lets us uh, do some work to change the signal and it, in terms of its gain and uh, do some clipping, basically, based on the threshold of the sine wave. And so that's our objective. So the first thing we'll do, we'll stop the program and we'll bring in uh, an embedded Python block. And out of the box, it shows up like this, and it's got some sample code in there, which basically just multiplies whatever's going through it by a parameter. So we'll, uh, we'll start with this embedded Python block. We'll click to open it, and we'll change its name to sample. And we'll open it in an editor. And uh, you have to choose whatever editor you want to use. You, you can download a Python editor. Uh, or just use Notepad Plus, um, but I like to use PyScriptor. It's kind of a neat editor that uh, that works quite well. And here it shows up. So there is our basic uh, embedded Python block uh, sample that uh, shows up whenever you run this for the first time. Okay. So we're, we're going to change the name of this. We'll change it to uh, Thingy. <laughs> Or a thingy uh, to do some some work, and we'll change its input and out that data from complex to floating point. Okay, so we'll change that. Float thirty two. Okay, and now when we save this, we'll go back to GNU Radio Companion, and what we'll see is that it's now called thingy. And it's now got floating point input and output. So we'll set up the sample code just to go through. We better create a second input on the scope here. Second input on the scope. And uh, we'll hook it up. And we'll change the parameter from 1 to 2. And what we should get is a sine wave coming through to the second scope channel that's twice the level of the original uh, thing. So let's run that and see what happens. And there we go. It worked perfectly. The original sine wave in blue is the peak of one, and the uh, second channel is a peak of two. So basically, our thingy has just multiplied the input by two and made it larger. And we can go back and look at that code. It's really simple. So some of the things you need to, do, uh, to know um, the block that we're using is the subclass of what GNU Radio calls the sync block, and that means it's expecting the same amount of data in and out, one-to-one -one relationship. You can change that to a decimating block or interpolating block or the basic block, which lets you basically have a random amount of data. You can have different data in, data out. But sync block is a really simple way to start because you're processing data and getting the same data out as you did getting it in. Now, if you want to have something show up on the GNU Radio screen, like example param, you need to set that up in, uh, in an argument to the initialization call. So we're going to change that. We're going to set it to gain equals zero. And we'll set that to threshold equals zero. Uh, maybe we'll make the gain a 1. Okay. I've got too many things there. Okay. So now if we save that and go back and look. Uh, we, need, uh, we need to set up, first of all, um, the properties. So uh, self refers to the object itself. And we say the property inside this object gain is equal to the argument that we're getting in and then we'll say self threshold equals threshold 
Okay, and we'll save that. And now what you can see is Thingy has two uh, changeable parameters, gain and threshold. They will show up. If you open this in GNU Radio, you can make those adjustments. Or, and this is where it's really neat, you can attach this to your slider, which is called gain, and attach this to your slider called threshold. And that way you can use your sliders to change the behavior of what's going on inside the processing block. Okay? And to make that work, you need um, arguments and properties with the same name. And if they have the same name, then there will be a callback every time you change the slider, it will change the value of gain and threshold inside your embedded Python block. Okay, so now we've got it set up for initialization. So now we want to actually write some code to make it do some work. So to do that, we're just going to use a simple for loop here for i in range 0 to the length of input items. 0. Okay. So, what we've set up here is a for loop. Now, why are we saying input item 0? Well, the thing you need to know is whenever this module does some work, it gets the input items and, and sends out the output items. But the way a GNU radio has it set up is they're basically an array of arrays or a list of lists. And what we're working with is the data in list item number zero, <clears throat> which is the first list item. Okay. So we're what we're going to say is if the value of input items zero i is greater than self threshold. We are going to take that item and put it in output items. Oops, I wish I could spell faster. Inputs items zero i and multiply it by the gain. Okay, so there's our first conditional. Else output items I equals zero. So what we've set up here is a little work program that basically says for each sample coming in, if the sample is above our threshold level, which we've set here to zero, the output item will be equal to the input item times the gain. Or if the input item is less than or equal to the threshold, then the output item is going to be zero. Very simple program, easy to follow. Let's see if it works. Uh, but basically, if this works, then I've set up a completely functioning embedded Python block in GNU Radio, and I've written it myself. Okay. So let's run it and see what happens. Here it comes. Okay. Let's change the threshold. Yeah, it's working. And let's change the gain. Oh, that works. So what we've done, basically, the blue uh, sine wave is what's coming in. We're looking at the value of the blue sine wave, and we're saying if the value is above the threshold, pass it along and multiply it by the gain to the output. So as we raise the threshold to, say, 0.5, then it's not starting to do anything really with an output in green until we reach 0.5 value on the input and any negative value is outputting nothing. And if we've got the gain turned up, then the output is going to be 
two times the input level. There, and that actually works quite nicely. <laughs> it doesn't do anything meaningful, uh, but basically it gives us an example of how to actually do some processing with GNU Radio in an embedded block. And if we go back to the source code again, just to go through it, let's take a look at the source code. We basically took the base example that comes with the embedded Python block. We changed the name to thingy. We changed the signature of the data to floating point, And that changed the uh, input and outputs from orange, rather from blue to orange. Uh, we set up two um, arguments with the initialization routine. One was called gain, one was called threshold and we assign those to properties inside the object. Then we hooked up, basically, in the main program, we hooked up those parameters to our gain control and our threshold control so that whenever we change the sliders in the main program, it changes those values inside here. Then lastly, we wrote some processing code that basically said for each sample in the input items, if the input item sample is above the threshold, uh, make a copy of it to the output item times the gain, otherwise set it to zero. And that's really all the program did. Very simple. And when we run it, it shows up and does exactly what we asked it to do. So this is an example of how easy it is to write uh, code in an embedded block uh, in Python. This will work quite nicely as long as your block is not too complicated. If your block is really complicated, then the program might slow down and not work. And if you look in the source folder, you can see that uh, we created a file. The EPB demo is the GNU Radio Companion file. It created uh, another Python file for that sample, which is what we call the embedded block. Okay, and then it created an overall demo a Python file for the program overall. And that's how it works. Uh, good luck playing around with this stuff. It's kind of neat. And it's hard to learn uh, GNU Radio because it's so poorly documented for first-time users. But uh, once I figured this out, I realized, hey, there's a whole bunch of power here that I never knew GNU Radio had. And uh, time to use it. Thank you very much. This is John V6EY making it up.